today. Hey guys, it's Allie, also known as Fashion by Allie here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me back. If you guys do not know Allie, I did a collab with her earlier this year. She and I have been friends for a long time and it's so great that we're in the Bay Area now so that we can collab mm -hmm. in person. So we have a special collab for you guys. We wanted to do a work office collab and for mine, I wanted to do it focused on working from home or working remote. Together, we're gonna share some tips for you guys to increase productivity. Mm -hmm. And as an added bonus, at the end of this video, we've got five different outfit ideas for you guys to still look polished and feel like you're starting your work day while still being comfy. You've been so successful, Aww. so I really appreciate your help on this video today. Please be sure to check out the second part of our collaboration. Over on my channel, there's going to be another video all about what to wear for your first interview, work outfit ideas, what's appropriate and inappropriate. And over on my channel, I like to talk a lot about clothing hacks. Be sure to watch it and subscribe and show my girl some love. And yeah, let's dive right into the wonderful world of working from home and outfit ideas. Girl, girl boss! Let's start off with tip number one. Create a routine. It is so key to have a set list of tasks mm -hmm. that you just do automatically without thinking. I was so bad at this and I'm still really working on it. It's hard to feel accountable when you don't have to go into a work at a specific time. I like to have a planner with all the things that I want to accomplish throughout the week. So Monday through Friday, I usually like to set themes for myself. So like Monday could be an editing day, Tuesday filming. And then I also have a Google calendar that helps me stay on top of everything. And the more that you do it, the more the repetition will sink in and the more that it won't be, you know, such a struggle. It is really nice to have have everything laid out and you just follow the plan. Mm -hmm. Tip number two. Have a separate workspace. It's really important to separate your work zone mm -hmm. from your relaxation zone. And if you read a lot of articles, they say never to do work, you know, on your couch and especially in bed. A separation of those activities begin to blend together. It's going to prevent you from compartmentalizing your activities for the day. You don't have to like pay extra money to go somewhere separate, but you can have just a separate desk where mm -hmm. that's only where you go to work. Some little corner of your apartment or your house. That way you can mm -hmm. mentally and physically feel the separation from work and pleasure. What I like to do to separate work from home is by going to a coffee shop or even just going out to a place that has free Wi-Fi. To a quiet location that's outside of home has been very beneficial for me. Tip number three is to get out and socialize with human mm -hmm. beings. Seriously, you guys, I can't even tell you how real this one is. Ali has been such an amazing oh. friend to me. Um, being away from like my coworkers oh, every day. <laughs> Crying, you're so I know, I'm so, you're so emotionally tired. For reals, you guys, isolation can take a toll on you. Mm -hmm. And like, I almost forgot that I'm such an extrovert and I feed on other people's energy because I've been so isolated. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like it has led to like so much like sadness. It's mm -hmm. not like, I'm not even aware of it, but I just slowly just started to like, got worse and worse and worse. So seriously, like clock out and go meet someone. I feel like I'm the complete opposite of you. I'm naturally an introvert. I can easily just stay at home for a week and not see anybody right. if I don't make that effort. So right. if you're an introvert too, you might need that social interaction. Even though it's not like natural mm -hmm. instinction for you to yeah. do it, you still feel good and you need it. All you do at home is like hang out with your pets, you know. I, I talk, talk to my dogs. <laughs> you talk to your dog too? Literally, my dog's like, shut up. They don't want to hear your business plans <laughs> right? or that exciting email. <laughs> Uh, mom, um, can you like get yourself some friends? <laughs> Tip number four is to set a strict schedule for yourself. I know when I first started freelancing, I used to just kind of work way too much because you think, oh, I can work whenever I want at whatever time. And then you end up working twice as much and it starts affecting your other relationships with yes. your significant other. And so I think it's really important to set aside a specific work schedule from a specific time period or specific days even, it's so crucial for your mental health and for the sake of others around you. What I started doing was like working all night and getting no sleep during the day and my health literally just 
completely deteriorated. I would just like, I wouldn't even know what time it is. It's like being in like a casino, like at Las Vegas. Like you have no idea what time it is. You just get yeah. lost in your computer and you end up not even working as productive as if you said, hey, I need to clock out at five because I need to go spend time with people. <laughs> Tip number five, I like to call it creating your zen zone. Now for me, I'm like, a bouncing off the walls type of person. And I am so used to having so much stimuli around me. And what I realized is that it was such a distraction. Mm -hmm. I would have like a podcast going, I'd have the TV blaring, like different music. And I was like, okay, girl, <laughs> You need to like chill mm -hmm. and focus. That's the time I feel like you need to spoil yourself. Like, you know, have a nice chill playlist, mm -hmm. get the candles going, mm -hmm. open up the window, let some daylight in. I think I like having a very minimal workspace, like a white desk against a white wall or even something near a bright window. It's just very relaxing for me and less distractions because I think working from home, like you said, you could easily turn on the TV if you want. But the to. bachelor's on! Right? <laughs> so distracting. And you it start is. trying to multitask and it starts affecting your work. Strict schedule with focus and less distractions. You can get more done at the right time. Tip number six is going to be positive reinforcement. Working from home can be hard because you might not have a boss or a coworker to say, hey, good job on that project. So I have friends that I like to meet up once in a while or even have my significant other take me out to dinner yeah. when I reach a certain milestone because it's important important to celebrate our successes. Of I course. think we worry so much about constantly working so hard every single day that we don't take a break for ourselves yeah. and celebrate all of those successes. When you're like at home, you don't have someone verbally always like cheering you right. on. If you guys are like me and like you're a perfectionist or hypercritical mm -hmm. or you know, you're self-deprecating naturally, like I do it as like a joke, but I realize that like it really weighs on your psyche. I feel like being emotionally fulfilled mm -hmm. by yourself right. is so hard to do instinctually, but it's really important. Sit back, relax, reflect on what you've accomplished in the past few months and really just soak in the moment and don't think about what's next or what's coming next. Okay guys, and our final tip of the day will lead into the second half mm. of this video and that is to get dressed in the morning. I swear, when I first started working remote, it was like PJs mm -hmm. all day. Would I brush my teeth today? Mm -hmm. Would I shower my body? Like, I know that sounds completely disgusting, but working from home and not like being forced to be seen by people mm -hmm. in the day, girl. No, I feel you. Even a phone interview, if I'm not putting on a little bit of makeup or wearing my, you know, outdoor outfit. <laughs> outdoor outfit, oh, like yeah. I'm Like to be outfit. seen in the world? <laughs> <laughs> like if I don't have an outfit that looks put together, I notice that my tone of voice is different. Oh, so I don't true. feel as confident so in myself. So true. It's like I'm telling myself I'm not taking my day seriously. Right. And it's like, I don't know, the, the actual act of like getting dressed mm -hmm. and like putting, you know, not necessarily makeup, but yeah, just like putting right. yourself together, it puts you into the mental right. work mode. Even being your PJs, it mentally makes you feel mm -hmm. like you need to slip into bed. And I think a lot of YouTubers do make this joke that yes, we are always wearing sweats on the lower <laughs> half that you can't see <laughs> so or true. like, stretchy pants or something, <laughs> which we are. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with being comfortable at home. But right. I think there is a specific way that you can style yourself to feel and look. Put together, okay. put together, okay. yeah. So on that note, we've got five different outfit ideas for you work from home, work remote, self-employed people out there, just to keep in the back of your head. And next time you wanna get yourself up and going for the day, you can feel great, mm -hmm. still stay comfortable and cash, but also just elevate you to that mm -hmm. next level. So I'm on the home. Let's get started. Let's get started. Outfit idea number one is going to be the simple throw on dress. That could be a t-shirt dress, mm -hmm. a shirt dress, or like a baggy shift dress. This is just like your go-to simple thing to throw on. And then you can easily throw on like a jean jacket or like a leather jacket over it to take it from home to outdoors. Honestly, you guys, like I love t-shirt dresses just in general, but you can also pair them with any type of shoes, mm -hmm. like sneakers or some nice pointed toe flats. Ankle boots. Ankle boots mm -hmm. for the fall. Like, and it's also an instant outfit. Like you don't have to worry about coordinating tops or bottoms. Just just throw it on and it's a great personal piece. Outfit idea number two is all about putting on a fancy blouse that's um, not as like dressed down like a hoodie or a sweatshirt. So just by popping that on, you feel instantly more elevated and put into that work mode. 
instant high fashion. Yes, like it's an easy way to just be like, ooh, I'm a little stylish mm. today. All right guys, outfit idea number three. This is a personal outfit recipe that I really, really like, which is to whip out your fun graphic tees. If you wanna just up your it factor, a graphic mm. tee could be really playful and fun. And I like to pair that with a blazer. Now, not a stuffy blazer. I'm talking about like those cozy, comfy mm. blazers. Menswear, street style version that you can rock at home. Idea number four is to play around with dressy joggers or comfier pants. Just so pay attention to the material of your pants. Softer cotton materials are nice. I love jersey material. It's just so comfortable. I also like obviously my Sincerely Jewels like dressed up joggers, like even though they're sweatpants mm -hmm. and they're thick and cozy, like I can wear them out because they look like legit. You'll feel great and you can just easily throw on a cute top and go out and look good. And our final outfit idea, number five. I had to throw this in, especially if you guys are active out there. But yeah, a great pair of leggings. You can't beat that. This is something you're probably already wearing at home. And it's really great for those of you guys that literally will go directly from like 5 p.m. clock out to the gym. I say pair that with like a really nice like sweater or maybe even like a nice cardigan on top. Kind of like take it away from like the gym, right. um, you know, PJ feel mm -hmm. and make it feel more of like an outfit. So I just wanted to incorporate that because that's something that I feel like a lot of people already wear at home, mm -hmm. but you can still make it a little bit dressy for yourself. All right, you guys, Yay. that does it for today's video. Thank you so much, Allie, for joining Aww, me. Thanks for having me. Now that you guys have finished with this video, please head over to our channel, subscribe, show her some love, and check out our second part two where mm -hmm. we talk more about professional interview outfits and tips and hacks like that. And be sure to comment down below and let us know what is your favorite outfit from this video and how do you get yourself into the work mentality if you work from home? Oh, I would love to hear it. Mm -hmm. I'm still struggling and still working. It's an ever-growing process, so I would love to hear any of you guys out there so we can come together yes. and be better Always. workers. <laughs> you guys rock! Give this right. video a thumbs up! And you guys have an amazing, blessed day. Bye! Bye. Cheers! There's nothing in my <laughs> <laughs> I have coffee Ooh. and it's like 5 p.m. <laughs>